Hey, what's up everybody? Daniel here from Never Enough Tech. Sometimes I get a bee in my bonnet to do Apple shortcut tutorials. It's like 40 times easier than the videos I normally do. Though maybe I'll even find a way to bring home audio into this one, talking to my soundbar folks. Anyway, a few weeks ago, I got a request on another bedtime routine shortcut. Viewer Eric Alvarez wanted a shortcut he could activate when going to bed. This shortcut does a few special things. It will play pre-specified music through an AirPlay speaker and automatically shut off after 45 minutes. Presumably you would be asleep by then. This may be the shortcut tutorial that only one person has ever asked for. Well, I don't care. Thought it would be fun to show the internet how to do this. So let's get started by firing up shortcuts. Press the plus button to create a new shortcut. Let's go ahead and name this one Night Sounds. And for extra fun, let's assign it a descriptive glyph. Make it yours, y'all. Let's close it out by selecting Done. First, in the search bar, go ahead and type Set Playback Destination. Give it a click to add to your sequence. All right, here is where you choose where you want to send your music. If you have an AirPlay enabled speaker in the room you choose to sleep, I'd suggest choosing that one. Funny thing for me is I have two AirPlay speakers in my room, but it's paired to a Sonos Play Bar that is not AirPlay enabled, so Sonos decided to strip them of their AirPlay ability. A little lame. To move this along, I'll just choose Dining Sonos. Let's just go with it. All right, next we need to find some audio to play. I'm just gonna get music from Apple Music. At this time, I believe evoking third-party music services for this particular shortcut is a bit more messy than we wanna deal with in this tutorial. Anyway, I'm going with the Nature Sounds album. All right, now we want our shortcut to go into a holding pattern before it stops the music. So we want it to wait. So type in wait and throw it into the action sequence. Now we need to set the wait time. Well, Apple is just giving us plus minuses second by second. Grown. So if I want it to last for 45 minutes, then I need to set it to 2700. Not the best use of your time ticking it to 2700. So here's what I suggest. Let's set the wait to 60, so one minute, Next, throw a repeat in the sequence, and you can just tell the repeat function how many times you want to repeat the minute. Before moving on, make sure to drag the wait statement into the repeat enclosure like this. I'll just repeat 10 times. I go to sleep quickly. All right, so we built our holding pattern. Now we need to tell shortcuts to stop when the holding pattern ends. Easy enough, go ahead and type play in search and then add play pause to the sequence. Make sure to specify stop. All right, now you have your time limited music shortcut at your fingertips. Let's test it out. It stops. So you can use voice to run this shortcut, but I did run into problems where it seemed to not want to run. Maybe this problem is unique to my house. It's probably a shortcuts bug. It always worked when I selected the shortcut manually. If you have iOS 14, you can make it a widget on the home screen. Probably worth it if it's one of these shortcuts you'll be using on a daily basis. Okay, hope this was helpful. For more of these tutorials, like, subscribe, and happy dance. You know, because you have a cool new shortcut and maybe you learned something. If you can only do two of these things, maybe leave out dancing. Okay, wrapping this up, catch you on the next one.